July 11, 2024 and this video is called proper pruning and the reason why I'm doing this is after I seen this butcher job I said I gotta show you guys how to properly prune now if you don't have to don't prune because it's only gonna bring in like fungal spores that are gonna get into the uh, open wounds and it's gonna be very dangerous to the uh, plant it's gonna actually have it die back in some places but right here is the total exact opposite of the way you're supposed to prune now you never leave these ends over here the way you're supposed to do it you're supposed to cut it to the collar of the branch which is right at the base so if you cut too far into it it won't heal right and that is what they call the callus roll and I'll show you some of those but if you leave it sticking out which this one was pruned down the road earlier you can see how it just rots and then what's gonna I'm gonna show you an example it's gonna end up not healing itself but look at look at this job right here they just left all the stubs I mean this is just so stupid so while I'm here I'm gonna show you how to properly prune it now Corona is my favorite pruners and what you want to do is you're gonna to want to go right to that base See how that you come as close as you can. That's the way it's supposed to be done. And now actually look at look at the old wounds. Here's the callus roll I was going to show you right here right there I did these a long time ago I didn't do these but if you see it rolls over and totally seals that opening and now nothing could get inside that now here's an example where it was left too high and see how it rotted it's not gonna roll so you do not leave these little ends like that and this was done the whole way that's why I'm doing this this is just totally not not the right way to do it and look at this one that's another bad one what you're supposed to do here is come down at least down to here and take that off right there you don't leave like a trunk hanging out here's another example look at that it's supposed to come down to here and then there's another one you just don't leave these cuts like that and there you go again just not the proper technique so I'm going to show you some examples of some callus rolls and how they don't heal, right? Now here is a good example of a very good callus roll. You can't even tell that there was a branch in there. See, that looks like a little butt. So right here is another one I want to show you. Look at this one. You can't even tell. Right there. So the trees have a way to heal themselves, but you gotta use the proper technique. Can you see the callus roll? Right there, smack dab in the middle. Now all plants or trees will do this. This is a Brugmansia, which is a tropical tree, and look at those cuts totally healed up that's on its way 
see how that's got that little edge in there that's not going to heal right but I wanted to show you this see that dead thing right there that should have been taken down to here not up that high now definitely it takes years for this to fill in but see that's on its way to, to heal up it's called the callus roll so if you give it that proper cut it will heal on its own all right let me show you really quick how it's supposed to be done see here is the collar see that and now this one's too long boom just, just don't do this this is just stupid not the proper way to prune Alright, just do it the first time so you don't have to do it twice. 